Leo set up, Darren's got the panels off because we don't need to add that to the video. So there's two really important wires and that is the red and the black. Go Darren. Oh. <laughs> so. well, those are, well, those are both coming out. We're going to take these out and we're going to replace it with... The black one goes to your controller. Uh, the red one goes to your breaker. So we're going to replace that with the new plug. For the lithium yeah i'll just put this in the, this uh that is a 72 volt and it's a 40 amp hour lithium battery this one is from tau and basically you can put whatever battery you want that fits in that box so um i don't have a 50 here but when we do two um 50 amp batteries they just happen to fit beautifully side by side but you can't put two of these in because they don't fit um this just gets in the way and you have to modify too much but um yeah just that's a little extra tidbit of info took you, yeah so our video for accessing a battery compartment took you to this point now we're going to remove the tank and we have to remove the seat to do that so we can get out the controller to uh to put the ground strap on and the ground strap is your black wire yeah that's this guy take the tank off I'm going to take the top top bolt out that holds the panels on the tank on this side. You took it out on the other side already. I'm going to take off these two panels, the two top panels, and then you're going to undo this bolt on the other side. And then for your seat, this is all 5 mil Allen key. So your seat, there's two there. And then I wanted to say, so Darren's doing it the proper way, where... Um, He's going to take this, uh, so th this is called an Anderson uh, harness, and um, this is what's coming with um, all lithium batteries. Well, no, that's not true. You can get the charging port too, right? Yeah. Um, so anyways, so the proper way that this one, uh, this harness comes with the connector that will go right to the controller. However, a, I don't know what to call it, but a shorter step, not doing it, uh, uh, cutting corners, I would say, is actually soldering black to black and soldering red to red. So you can literally do that step right now as it is without having to go and take the tank off and the rest to actually get to the, to the controller. But Darren's doing it the proper way, the most, uh, the safest way, because anytime that you have um, a connection that's soldered, that's a weak point. So if you have less weak points, the better. All right. So we got our seat off. We're taking the tank off. These happen to be eight mil. Sometimes they're ten. So we've taken out two bolts, one on either side. The two eight or ten mil that hold it in. Now we're just going to very carefully pick this up and just slide it out and lift lift it off. That gives you access to your controller. screwdriver so put your 10 mil on so B negative is your ground strap red is your positive right and then your positive goes down to your breaker that's is it like how hard is this um, it's not necessarily hard but you still have to be really careful uh, the breaker's off. Okay. So just run Never that. Mind. I'll shut up. You can get away with just <laughs> kind of running it through there. Uh, just straight into the battery compartment. I'm going to do this back up. Yeah, because you grabbed the wire from the harness there. I didn't have the right kind of angle. And does it really matter which one's on top? Not really. I would just I'd put the big fat one on top, but it doesn't matter which way you do it. As long as you don't forget to put your uh, little black one back on. There's only two coming off of there. For your red wire, you just want to come down here to your breaker. Yep. I'll take this one out. So the show factory me. one. So, so yeah. It's going to go under here. This is a Phillips too, and that's uh, a little bit hard to find the hole because it's upside down. But 
this is a pretty good angle. Over so we're here. just gonna back that off, back it off a good 10 turns, or else you're never gonna get your big fat red wire in there. And then this just slides out. Like oh, that. I missed that a little bit. Okay, that's so yeah. So Darren just took it out of that right there, and it, the screw is underneath of that to loosen that. It's a, a clamp, so when you tighten it, it. It so in this it. one, just put it over top. And make sure that that's damn tight because that comes off. You know, the bike vibrates, your mirrors get loose, and that's another one that can get loose too. So we're just going to put that in there. Yep, like so. Make sure you don't put this in too far because then it clamps down on the insulation and you get a bad connection. In too far? No, just uh Okay, so that's pretty much it, except we're going to take a uh, break here, and then we're going to do the uh, the brace to hold the battery down. Okay. So this comes with your battery. It's just a, a soft pad. Uh, you don't need to use this. Any rubber will do. We'll just stick that to the bottom so the battery's not sitting on the, uh, on the uh, metal. The uh, brace that comes with this, we're going to take this off of here because this is for... Uh, the lead acid and it's in the wrong spot for what we need. Battery in. Like so. And then you're going to take this and you set it up here. Just lay it on the battery. And you're going to mark the spot where you want to drill a quarter inch hole. So I'll do that and uh, we'll. Uh, Carry on after. Uh, a lot of people ask what those extra wires are right there. Uh, we'll get to that in a sec. Okay. John, we're going to set the other battery plate cover in place and then reach in and mark it. This comes with the bike and it'll be, it'll have the bolts with it. Okay. So we don't have to crank this right down. We just need to snug it so it's not flopping around so we can mark the other side with some sort of accuracy. Make sure your holes are lined up. Oops. Line up your holes. You can put a couple of screws in here if you're not 100% sure if you're lined up. And then you're gonna reach inside with a pencil and just mark your other hole to drill. And you're gonna drill another oh. quarter inch hole there. Yeah, the way you marked it. Okay, so we've drilled our hole in the other panel, so we're going to leave this in. And I usually put some wire loom around these, just protects them, and uh, especially with this one going over this metal here. Right. So I just put a little loom on to keep things pretty and protect them. Then a zippy tie. Plug your battery in. Make sure your breaker's off at this point. Yeah. So some batteries come with a breaker. Just on check the it. You well. can turn it on if it's if it's stiff. That's on. If you just push it and it snaps back, that's off. So leave it off for now. Yeah. Until we get it plugged in. So like so. And then if you got a little extra wire, you can uh, zip tie it in place, but this seems to be okay here. Uh, I might put a little bit of a pad in this when we're done. This is a charging line, but with this plugged in here, this is the charging line to the bike. It's the only clip on the bike where the pins are perpendicular. One's crossways and one's this way. Right. It's the only clip on the bike like that. So this is your charging here. This is fine. You can leave this. It charges through the bike, so I don't use this on this bike anyway. If this is hooked up and the bike system is hooked up, it's going to charge. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the other thing I guess you could use this for is you could put another charging port on here and charge the battery out of the bike. Directly. So, right. So we got everything plugged in. Uh, the other breaker, I'm going to shut the other breaker off. Oh, it is off. So we're going to turn this one on. And... So this, this stuff is going to come with your battery. It's going to be packed in this. Just cut Boom. yourself off a little, little piece of that. And tuck it under here. It gives the battery a little cushion. You're really going to have to push that down to get the bolt in, but the zip tie, a little piece under here. 
as well. Actually, you know what? We'll zip tie that right to there. Yeah, to the to the. Yeah, you can't zip tie it too much. Well, that's not true. You can, because then you make it too tight and it pulls. Need a tie. Zip tied in there. Video. No. What I'm gonna do now. You can put this panel back on. Do this one up first because you can move it around a little bit to line your holes up somewhat. Breaker on the on the. Uh... Make sure your breaker's on on your battery. Yep. Because so that's on. You can get at it with a broomstick or some sort of a reacher, but it's a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna turn on the breaker here. And I'm wishing to... Power. Well done. Battery changed.